Hello and welcome to Fatherhood in Focus. I created this channel in order to share my experiences and challenges as a father. So today I want to share with you a few ways that um, fatherhood has changed me and share with you my experiences since I became a father for the first time. Okay, we are going to do some memory learning game. Yes. So my question to you today is, how has fatherhood or parenthood changed you um, since you became a parent? How many strawberries are there? Count them. Yes. 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 Yay, well done. So pick the number four. Yay! Well done. <laughs> Sasha. Sasha. Daddy. JD. Daddy. JD. So the first way it has changed me is um I have become more affectionate. You know, it has brought the softest side of me. As in um I am more clingy to my children. I give kisses, I hug them, I demand all of that, and that's not the person that I was. I was more kind of a hard in showing affection now that i have children around me i can share as bringing the softer side of me because um, i show more affection i show love i show i hug i kiss i embrace this has brought me uh, some kind of um, happiness <laughs> So the next point is your responsibilities become clear your sense of responsibility increases since your case depends on you for everything being emotional financial physically and spiritually you become such a selfless human being and put yourself last you're always thinking about your children you don't think about yourself you don't even think about what to wear every time you are thinking about the children uh, are they eating when they, even when they are sleeping you are going back and forth to see if they are awake uh, if they are out you're thinking about them what is happening to them and it's it's just it comes natural you know this is my experience and i know uh, a lot of parents out there feels What's the that? same when? Well done. What? what? Say love. Who? Yes. Which? Which? You are done? Yeah. Where? Well done. Yeah. How? How? Well done. Hat. Hat. Well done. Yeah. Hat. Hat. Well done. Ham. Ham. Hat. The next one is going to be um, if you are a parent, you realize that um, your bathroom becomes the most peaceful place ever. That is the only place that I've realized that when I am I need me time, that's where I go. I go to the toilet or the bathroom. There's always chaos because I have two kids running around back and forth. And if you want to do something, if you want to read, if you want to uh, watch a video or do anything. There's no way you can do that when they are around because they want to read with you, they want to play, fight, they want to do this, they want to do that. When that is sitting quietly, they want to come and kind of keep you busy. So I just go to the toilet, lock myself and then start reading or watch a video. When I get a phone call, I have to rush to the toilet because <laughs> they, that's when they are they want to grab the phone or that's when they want to play that's when they want to make noise so the toilet sort of becomes a, a, the most peaceful place in the house Yay. 
these children are looking up to you for everything that you do whatever you do the way you talk everything that you do they are looking to reflect so they are looking at the way you talk the way you dress the manner in which you are talking and you realize that you think that they are not seeing so the way you used to talk before when you have children now you think before you even talk you know the things that you watch on telly the books that you read the way you say things everything becomes it's like oh there's somebody here watching me there's the possibility of them reflecting or mirroring what I, I i do so you have to be careful what you do i'm always looking around i'm always thinking about what to say and how to say it you'd be surprised how your children emulate the things that i do and i am always surprised by that you know for instance uh, my younger one sasha when whenever i change her pampers and i leave it on the floor she just picks up and then put it in the bin because she's seen me do it and this is is like wow she's actually been watching you know what do you want huh what do you want you want to change the channel what do you want to watch what do you want to watch? Huh? YouTube kids. Me, me, me. The next one is I've realized that I am watching too much children programs. Before these children, I didn't know anything about nursery rhymes. But now we just name it. I can sing A B C to Baby Shark. You learn to sing a lot of nursery rhymes. Our television is like 80% switched to YouTube kids. I have no choice but to, to be interested and play along. You know, I watch more children programs now than I thought basically. Twinkle, twinkle. Little star, how are, are you not singing? Huh? You have to sing. God was angry that everyone on earth had become wicked, all except one, Noah. God spoke to Noah, I will destroy this wicked world. Only you and your family will be saved. Are you listening? The next experience, the next challenge is half of your income are spent on children, food, clothing, books, and learning resources. You don't care anymore to set money aside for your future happiness, but for the children, you know? You are always thinking about the children's future. You don't even buy for yourself. Everything is like you put them, you know, the things that I used to buy for myself, uh, every fancy things. If I need to buy a mobile phone or if I buy, I have to buy a specific camera. Now, you know, you don't have the choice anymore. You think of the children before you think of all those other things because you buy clothes for them today, tomorrow, they, it doesn't fit anymore and you have to buy and children clothes, children, anything for children are now very expensive. You don't know where the money goes when you get paid. They just evaporate. They just flies, you know. You realize that this is where the money is going. H O M E. Home. Well done. Home. P E O P L E. People. Yes. S K Y. Sky. S U N. Sun. Anyway, on that note, um, I have to bring this video to an end. And please leave a comment and tell me about how motherhood or fatherhood has changed you. If you just leave anything that I have missed, you can leave a comment down here. And thank you for watching. And also, may I take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you like this content.